videos on her TikTok and says, the more you do this, the better at it that you will get. Well, new on WHIM TV tonight, the Cleveland Division of Police is releasing more details about two babies found dead in the garbage. Investigators said a woman found the bodies in a trash can. She then called 911 and said her 16-year-old daughter threw them in the trash after giving birth days before. Officers found the teen, took her to the hospital for treatment. Neighbors were trying to come to terms with the grim discovery. To somebody when you're down, <coughs> feeling down, postpartum is real. But I hope it was a, a miscarriage or a stillbirth or something where the children were not living. Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. It is 11 17 mm -hmm. and it still probably feels great like it did this afternoon, McCall. <laughs> yes, temperatures are in the 60s across the Miami Valley right now. And while I'm looking at a cool night, it's not too overly chilly heading into the start of tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon is going to get even warmer than what we saw across the Miami Valley today. So let's talk about where our temperatures are headed. Over the next few hours, we will fall from the 60s and then wake up tomorrow morning at about the mid to upper 50s. Once the sun comes up, those temperatures jump dramatically and we'll see those highs eventually rising into the middle 80s. Not only for tomorrow, but Wednesday as well. So that's more summer-like warmth, typical average highs that we would see in June or July. There is a cold front that's going to come in late Wednesday and the Thursday. That is going to give us some cooler weather as we head toward Thursday and Friday, the start of the weekend as well. But I do not see any rain in the forecast. That front is just going to bring us some cloud cover and that dip in temperatures. Now, as we look at the holiday weekend, though, pleasant weather on tap for you. Slight chance you may get a straight shower to Sunday and Monday. But overall, the weather looks fantastic for our first unofficial weekend of summer. All right, looking at our forecast for tomorrow, you can see we're in the low 60s to start. We'll get to nearly 70 already by 10 a.m. and then rising into those low to mid 80s as we move into the afternoon. By 4 o'clock, we're up to about 81 degrees. Your three-day forecast beyond Tuesday, 84 on Wednesday as well. There's that little cool down, 70 for Thursday. But although a cool down from Wednesday, it's actually not too far from normal highs of about 76 degrees. 74 for our high on Friday, and all three days will come with plenty of sunshine, just a few clouds at times. Now, let me walk you through your weekend forecast. Here's Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning. You'll notice a few clouds out there. We'll call it filtered sunshine for the day. We just keep it dry with those temps into the 70s once again. There's Sunday, slight chance of a stray shower that may bubble up at any point during the day. I do believe the better chance will be during the afternoon as we warm back to the upper 70s. But that chance is still about a 20% chance or less. Monday for Memorial Day, mainly dry, about a 10 to 15% chance that, again, a rogue shower may form. So when we look at your Memorial Day weekend forecast, 77 Saturday, 78 on Sunday, 81 for us on Monday, and generally dry. So we do have three great days for pool weather, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday as well. So if you're opening up the pool or going to a splash pad this weekend, not bad, but probably the later you get into the weekend, the better, just because we do see the warmer temperatures back to the 80s by Memorial Day. It said that I spent $312.83 at a BJ's yeah. in Massachusetts. 